Welcome back and today is day one of our 30 days of code challenge in HackerRank. Today um, in day one we'll be doing data types in Python. So let's get started. So today's challenge is um, that we have to declare three variables, one of a type int, double, and type string. And then we have to read three lines of input. And then we'll be using the plus operator to add the integers, doubles, and adding the strings, which is also called concatenating. And our input format, so basically how we will get um, the lines that we have to read would be is that the first one is the integer that we get, the second one is the double, and in Python it's also called a float, and the third one is the string. So let's see what they did. So they got 12 and they added 4 with the 12 they got, and then they added 4.0 and they added 4.0 with um, the 4.0 they got. And they got the string and they added hacker rank. So let's um, see what variables they have already created. So it seems that these are the variables that we would need to be adding to our input. So in Python, we don't have to um, explicitly declare our variables. And what that means is that we don't have to say when we declare a variable that this is type int, it will automatically detect it. So we can move straight over to here. So first we have to read the integer from um, the first line we get. So we can say, um, we can name the variable i add because we'll be adding this to i. And to get the input we could do, we could use the Python input function. But since um, this function returns as a string, we need to convert the string to an integer. And to do that, we can use the built-in int function. So now this takes in the input, which is, comes as a string, and strings are in single double quotes, and it converts that to an integer, which is a whole number. And now we'll be, we need to take a double or a float in Python, which is any number um, that has a decimal point, essentially. So we can name this d add, and now we're going to take the input also. But this time, we need to convert the string to a float. So we can use float. And now that converts the input into a float. And here we are taking the string. So we could just do s add. And this time, since it's already coming in as a string, we don't have to convert it. And now let's just um, print our values. OK, so this would could go under with um, reading and saving the integers and strings and doubles. And now we can print what um, i is plus the i add we get. So here we're taking the initial value of i and adding it to the variable we stored from the input from our first line. And here we do the same thing, but with the float. So we do d plus d add. And here we also do the same thing. And interesting thing is if you add two strings together, it's called concatenating. And now we're going to add our initial string to the string that we get here. Let's run our code. OK, so it seems that we have passed the sample test case. It looks like we have completed this challenge. And see you in day three.